Matt, did you take any drugs this morning? Pencils down. Can you squeeze my fingers for me? Did anyone give you anything to help with the math test? Matt? I told you, he doesn't take drugs. Miss Davis, all parents think that about their children. And they're usually wrong. I gave my mum a little trouble when I was his age. I turned out OK. Even she thought so. I know my kid. The fact that you did drugs doesn't mean he did. Did he go anywhere last night? No. He was home studying. Any friends come over to help him? And bring him drugs? Is that what your friends did? Miss Davis. Look. I tested him myself. The home kit. I took some hair off his brush. I didn't want him to know about it because I do trust him. Then why did you test him? All he did last night was study and argue about his college interviews. He wants to be himself. No haircut. Ratty old clothes. And that'll go over big. Now we both gave up and went to bed. That's it. Has he ever had any problems like this before? Any family history? No. It's just me and Matt. Dyer's pen. 10 milligrams. Stop. Right. What's going on? Taking some precautions. He's seizing. Help me hold him. Stay no, cool, mate. Calm me down. The poison's called Dizel Photon. This should bomb with it and neutralize the poison. Then his nervous system will start sending the correct signals to the rest of his body. But there was no Dizel... Well, that stuff in that can. The label says Dizel Photon. I can show you. But you didn't test it. You said Matt sprayed with it this morning before school. Matt started that garden himself for an environmental science class. They weren't allowed to use pesticides. Apparently he cheated a little. It was orange peel oil, totally organic. He dumped that other stuff last winter. The symptoms fit. There must have been some left in the can. If you're wrong, what will this treatment do to him? Well, theoretically, it could increase the toxicity and... But we're not wrong. Don't. We're not wrong. I can't let you do this. Get a court order. Unless you want to see someone killed by sheer irrationality. Maternal instinct is always irrational. Doesn't mean it's wrong. Actually, that's the definition. It doesn't make her mentally incompetent. She is risking her son's life based on a teenager's claim that he washed something. How mentally incompetent can you get? That's a brilliant legal argument. Listen, have your Harvard law dog whip up some high-grade, legal-sounding psychobabble. Temporary insanity brought on by acute panic distress syndrome. I don't care. We have to give him the hydrolase. Her only sign of mental illness is that she disagrees with you. Some would consider that a sign of sanity. Not the kid. Let's ask him. Oh, no, I forgot. We can't. He's dying. Get the mother to sign off that she's refusing this treatment. I, Margot Davis, have been informed of the risks which may arise from my refusal of advised medical care. I hereby release... Who are you? I work for the hospital. The Princeton Plainsboro Teaching Hospital and its employees, agents, and otherwise from any adverse medical conditions resulting from my refusal. It is not the hospital's fault if my son kicks off. Kicks off? I punched up the language, mostly for clarification. I understand my doctors consider my decision to be completely idiotic. Why are you doing this? But I am convinced I know more than they do. I took a biology course in high school. I assume that's... yeah. Besides, I enjoy controlling every single aspect of my son's life, even if it means his death. Sign here, please. I brought a pen. Who are you? I'm the doctor who's trying to save your son. You're the mom who's letting him die. Clarification. It's a beautiful thing. She rethought her position. Start him on the hydrolase. No. We've got a problem. Three, one, two, three. Heart rate's 49. O2 stat, 84 and falling. Silene, atropine and diazepam now. 
His name is Chi Lang. He was admitted 12 minutes ago. Identical symptoms as Matt. Chase isn't sure he's gonna make it. Matt's next door neighbor by any chance? They live 10 miles apart. Apparently they don't even know each other. The county's worried about West Nile, so they sprayed ethyl parathion right next to the bus route. Do you have the hydrolase for ethyl parathion? <sighs> yeah, only one problem. Matt's mother faxes records to the CDC. She refuses to let us do anything until she hears back from them. Well, you're getting good at this godlike doctor racket. Why don't you talk her out of this lunacy? She's not really a big fan of mine. Who oh, mine? Well, only one man left in the bullpen, and he throws like a girl. I hate sports metaphors. Give her the high, hard one. We really think the hydrolase is the only... I'm thinking about transferring that out of here. Davis, your son is very sick. He won't survive a transfer. I'm getting a second opinion from the Center for Disease Control. Right. Look, when my grandmother got sick... What? You're gonna tell me some tough decision you had to make? I know how hard this is for you. Maybe embroider the story a little, make it fit? I can't imagine being in your position. Honesty, a kind of vulnerable honesty. That's your thing. And the looks. Oh, boy. They sent a single woman to hustle the single mom. Actually, they sent a doctor to tell you that if your son doesn't get this treatment, there's a good chance he'll die. That's what Hal said about a treatment that would have killed Matt. You've got to do better than that. No. It's on you. You need to do better. Right now. Yes or no. I don't know. Figure it out. Wait. 